we've learned to how to properly set up our bell kit, it's time to start making our first sounds. Remember that when you set up your bell kit, it should come just below your belly buttons. My belly button's right here, and this is where my bell kit is. That is proper setup. If it's any higher or lower, you've done it incorrectly, and you need to adjust the middle screw on your bell kit in order for it to be set up properly. Now, before we start making noise, we need to make sure that we're holding our mallets correctly. Remember, these are your mallets. The things that are made of wood in your percussion kits, those are your snare drum sticks, and we're not gonna be using those right now. So, to grip the mallet, start with your first finger and your thumb like this. Hold the mallet almost halfway up the stick between your first finger and your thumb. Take your other fingers and wrap them around the stick and turn your hands so your knuckles face the ceiling. Imagine that you're giving someone a fist bump. Now, do this process with your left hands. Get your first finger and your thumb ready and hold the mallet about the middle of the mallet right there. Wrap your other fingers around and turn it so your knuckles face the ceiling like you're giving someone a fist bump. Now, set up your mallets together and make sure that your hands meet and the tips of the mallets meet as well. You'll know you've done it wrong if, for example, your hands don't meet or you'll know you've done it wrong if you meet your hands and the tips of the mallets are, in, are not, you know, clicking together. So everything should line up between the two. Also, when you go in for your fist bumps, you should form a little slice of pizza, kind of like this. You should not have them out directly in front of you like this. You want to form a pizza. The special way that we hold our mallets by making this pizza out in front of us, that's called our mallet embouchure. Say that with me, embouchure. That's a very important word that I don't want you to forget. Now, with your embouchure set up correctly, start by moving each wrist up and down. And this movement comes from the wrists only. Wrists only up and down, whoops. Make sure that you are not moving your arms. This is incorrect. Again, this is correct, wrists only. This is incorrect. Now, when you play your bell stick set, I want you to move the stick entirely by yourself because nothing is going to bounce. If you expect the stick to bounce off the key when you strike it like this, it's just going to fall and land straight on the key. That doesn't produce a very pretty sound. Anytime you strike a key, you need to bring the mallet back up to where it originated. Now, I want you to find a note that we call D. It's easy to find because um, on your bell kits, there are groupings of notes on the top row. You'll see there's a group of three, then a group of two, then a group of three, then a group of two. Go ahead and find a group of two for me. Now go one row down and find the note in between the group of two. Find the note in between the group of two. If you're lucky, it will actually say D on it. You're looking for this key, D. And it sounds like this. Now I want you to try four right hand strokes on this key. Now I want you to try four left hand strokes on this key. I want you to notice a couple things about that seemingly simple exercise. My hand that I was not using was at the ready. It was not by my side 
It was not relaxed. It was ready in the pizza shape, ready to go. Also, every time I struck the bar, the mallet returned to my original resting spot. It did not do this. Instead, it did this. Do you see that? Let me show you again with my left hand. I want you to pause the video, find a mirror, and try practicing in front of the mirror and making sure that you look exactly as I do. Go ahead and do that now. Awesome. Now, once you've found D, there's two other notes that I want you to find on the bell set. I want you to find C and B flats. It's easy to find C because it's just to the left of D and it's on the bottom row. Go ahead and play four C's with me with your right hand. One, two, ready, play. Now play four C's with your left hand. One, two, ready, play. Good, we found the note C. Now we need to find the note B flat. B flat is on the top row. It's in the group of three, and it's the one at the far right. It should sound like this. Again, it's in the group of three, and it's on the far right of the group of three. Let's do four B flats with just our right hands. One, two, ready, play. Let's do four B flats with the left hand. One, two, ready, play. To make things interesting, let's play eight B flats, but we're going to alternate our hands, always starting with the right hand. Again, anytime we play percussion, we always start with our right hand. Here I go, one, two, alternating hands. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Finally, there's a couple things that I want to remind you of or just make note of before we finish today's video. Whenever you strike one of the bars, for example, let's start with D. You want to strike right in the middle of the bar. You don't want to strike too far down or too far up. And you most certainly do not want to strike these screws that hold the bar in place. Strike right in the middle. Also, when you set up with your mallets, Make sure that you're always using the pizza shape and you're always returning to the pizza shape after each strike. Let me do some alternating strokes for you and watch how my hands return to the pizza shape. Finally, make sure that your mallets always come up off the bars every time you're finished playing a note. This is incorrect. Notice how my mouth did not come up off the bars. You need to actively pop it off the bars every time you're done playing. In conclusion, to play the percussion correctly from this video, you need to be able to form your embouchure correctly in both hands by holding the mallet about halfway up between your thumb and forefinger, wrapping your fingers around, and giving fist bumps with both hands and forming your pizza shape. You should be able to strike the instrument by hitting the center of the bars, only coming up a few inches and returning to where you started. You should also be able to show me where the notes D, C, and B flat are on your bell kit. Good luck, have fun, and come to me with any questions.